Hello again, my name is Jamie Lynn Thomas, and I'm here continuing to talk about the seven categories of the Bach flower essences. Uh, we had already talked about fears, now we're on to the uncertainty category, which includes serato, scleranthus, wild oat, hornbeam, gentian, and gorse. And the positive aspect of uncertainty is certainty. So let's talk about Serato. It is a type and a mood, and the positive qualities help you trust in your own truth no matter what others say or do. This also connects you deeply to your heart and to the heart space and the heart Taurus itself. The negative qualities is that the person cannot make decisions on their own. They end up hearing their intuition. They just don't trust it. So they end up seeking validation from others. This lack of self-confidence comes from a lack of self-confidence in the self of the person. Uh, and then they're also seeking advice from others. They tend to, as they're seeking advice or validation, this advice tends to miss be misleading or misguiding because it's not coming from, from the truth of the person. It's coming from another person's truth or what they envision as the truth for the person that they're speaking with. So this can really pull people off and out of balance. This is the most sold flower essence in worldwide. It It's sold uh, all over the place and it's one of the most uh, frequently bought flower essences. And Deborah Cradon and her partner when they were writing Floral Acupuncture dubbed this plant the highest vibrational plant in the plant kingdom. So this plant has maximum potential to transform and translate the ability to ascend the human body and really activate balance and soul potential within the physical body itself. Our next one is scleranthus. We have this growing all over here in the state of Colorado, and many people just think that it's, you know, a nice little cactus or pretty, pretty low-growing flower. But this plant has huge potential to transform and give certainty to folks. It's also a type and a mood, and the positive qualities are that there's calmness, determination, the person is poised, they're balanced, and they're quick to decide and take action. This is coming from their truth. They're really standing in your integrity so that uh, when you make decisions, you really can feel like the decision that you made is the right one because it is your highest and greatest truth. And the negative qualities of scleranthus is that there is this back and forth with a yes and no. So it's usually between two choices. That's the main indication for scleranthus. You have two separate choices. You could go left or you could go right. And you think that going left is going to be right. And when you, when you think about going left, it feels perfect to you, 100% yes in the moment. But as you start to go down that path, you go, well, maybe the other path is better. And so you start to go right. And then that that path feels 100% right and with a yes. But then when you start going down that one, the left one looks good. And there happens this wibble wobble kind of thing back between a yes and a no between choosing the left or choosing the right when you're making a decision. And this is really seen in people is that they, they, they suffer quietly, they suffer in silence, and they bear this quietly because it's an agonizing thing to be choosing between two different choices and then to think both of them are equally uh, right in, in the moment. It's quite agonizing. And we all have wild oat. You'll see these all over the fields, and uh, they're quaking right now, the little wild oats. And the, the, what a wild oat is, is that it has the mood quality. This is not a type, it is a mood. And it's 
positive qualities is that it helps define ambitions and knowledge of what to do in your life. It helps define calling. It is also part of the release stage, so the stage uh, out of the five stages of processing, it's in release. So it's the, the process that really helps bring you to clarity and certainty. And this essence use is an acupuncture point helps to open the gate of destiny, really bringing in clarity for function and life calling. And the negative qualities of wild oat is that the person is very, very talented, but they tend to, to spread their energy too thin. They tend to not commit 100% of their energy to any one particular thing. They spend it on 10 billion other things trying to figure out what is going to work for them. So when I think of it, I think of the saying that you sell a wild oats, you do 100 things before you're going to commit. And this is really what the wild oat personality does. They, they're trying everything that they can think of to see which one is going to feel better to them and give them clarity on their calling. Hornbeam. This one is a mood. And the positive qualities are hornbeam is that you have the sure, that you are very sure of your own abilities and your strengths to face problems. There's clarity in the priority. And then there's also a get up and go feeling and kind of a kick in the pants. Uh, we like to think of this one as that it helps you to be open to new inspirations. And if you know the Latin spirar, spirate or inspire, in I-N-S-P-I-R, just means to breathe in. And Asian means the process of to breathe in. So we're hoping to breathe in clarity and strength so that you can see that uh, life purpose and priority in the face of all of your to-dos. The negative quality is that there's a mental and physical exhaustion that happens with hornbeam. It's usually expressed as mental exhaustion more so than physical exhaustion. Uh, and there's this quality of the Monday morning feeling. Like, oh, there's lack of motivation to get up and go. And these people tend to lack the motivation to get things done if no one is driving them. So these are the folks who really need to have somebody looking over their shoulder or holding them accountable for what they are doing. Some other negative qualities is that some parts of the body need to be replenished to continue on. Uh, and by doing this, Now, when we're talking about that a part of the body needs to be replenished to continue on, we're usually talking about the mental mind needs to be replenished. Or perhaps the physical exhaustion is so great that the person really needs to take a couple of days to just nourish their body. Other things that you'll see as negative qualities is that this person is tired of trying to find their calling. They're tired of looking for their true destiny. And the positive qualities of Hornbeam help bring that destiny into fruition. So uh, some of you may be thinking, hmm, Hornbeam and Wild Oat sound like they would be a good combination for somebody. And you are definitely right. Those are seen as traditional combinations for easy formulation for folks. Gentian. Now, this low-growing mountain plant grows all over here in the Rocky Mountains, and uh, we'll see it quite frequently when you're out in, on hikes. So I invite you to keep your eyes open and see if gentian calls you to them. Now, gentian is a mood-type uh, flower essence, and the positive qualities are that there is full resounding optimism. The person is persevering uh, no matter what the setbacks are and that they tend to not be affected by setbacks at all. 
they also realize that conflict and setbacks are a part of life. So that when conflicts come and pull you off your course, you're able to see those conflicts, work with them in the moment, and utilize them as a catalyst to bring you back onto your life path and your calling so that it's more clarified in, in the end. And the negative qualities of gentian are that the person is very easily discouraged. There's, when there's a delay in progress, they start to cause doubt, uh, wondering if the course that they've chosen is truly the right one. And the, really the eternal pessimists, they tend to gain satisfaction when things go badly for them because it is letting them know that the pessimism that they're feeling and thinking about constantly is not crazy. It's actually happening. So the, this is a very interesting quality when seen in uh, cases and uh, later on in future months we'll look at a couple of case studies including gentian so that you can start to see this unique quality that starts to happen and the mind is very overactive because they're constantly analyzing the pictures and interactions and possibilities all the time so there's this racing mind kind of thing that's happening but it's analyzing things analyzing situations how can i correct how can i modify how can i be part of shifting this situation or 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 uh, other perspectives and what this really does this overactive mind is it cuts the person completely off from their higher source from their higher self. And that really gets rid of the internal voice that lets them know what is positive, what is balanced, so that there's not this negative connotation to everything that they're looking at. Uh, it's almost like looking through the world with dark colored spectacles. The other gorse uh, uncertainty is gorse, which we see all over here in the Rocky Mountains as well. It's uh, flowering and going crazy up by Red Cone right now. And it is a mood, and it has some positive qualities that there's positive faith and hope in everything, and that there's certainty, certainty in overcoming all difficulties, no matter what they are and no matter the challenges associated with it. Now, the negative qualities or the negative uh, presentation is that there is complete hopelessness. This is seen uh, in all different stages of life and especially with people who have had long-term chronic illness or are in the death and dying phases. And this complete hopelessness will be self-defeating. It tends to batter the person down further and further into themselves. You also see this where people have just completely given up, given up on living, given up on life, given up on, on being happy or seeing any faith or hope in the world at all. These are the folks who see only the negative in the world and in all their interactions. And this type of quality is very emotional for people and it's a very flat emotional quality. Uh, so you can see this when you're working with clients as aggravated emotion. And I tend to think of Winnie the Pooh and that the little Eeyore friend where he's like, ho hum, woe is me, oh, the day is so dark, the world is so hard to be in. And this is where we're really seeing gorse. And our next category is insufficient interest in the present circumstances or the present situation. This has been uncertainty of box flower essences, and I'll look forward to talking to you guys in the next webinar. <laughs>